What's going on, Warriors Nation? It's Chase Johnston, and you are watching and you're probably listening to another great episode of Warriors Wednesday. Join alongside me. He was one of the youngest goalies in the BCHL, uh, came in as the backup for Johnny Derrick this year. He is the undisputed number one starter for this West Kelowna Warriors team. His name is Justin Katz. Justin, one heck of a summer for you. First off, congratulations with your commitment to Cornell University. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a great summer. Came back from West K and I uh, went to Cornell a few weeks after that. And uh, I was super excited to be able to commit to such a great program and such a great school. Justin, a lot of fans were a little shocked to see, wow, Justin's still super young and he's already committed and not only committed, committed to a great hockey program, uh, another, uh, another Ivy League uh, school in Cornell. Uh, was that decision easy once the offer was made? Yeah, that was a no-brainer. Um, I, I always had in my mind that I wanted to go Ivy. Um, uh, you can't really pass up an opportunity to go uh, to such a great school. And, and the fact that they have such a great hockey program over there is, is just an add-on. Uh, it was really easy to make that decision. All right, let's talk about this past year. Justin Katz got his first taste uh, of BCHL hockey. Uh, you obviously had a guy like Johnny Derrick, 20-year-old goaltender, kind of mentoring you. What was that like over the last year, and how did it help you grow as a goaltender? Uh, well, Johnny was great. We were we were close on the ice and off the ice. We hung out all the time, and and he was just such a great guy and a great mentor for me last year. And he, uh, I think he's one of the big reasons that that I had a lot of success in the games that I did play last year. And um, I'm hoping I can fill his shoes that uh, that he left being a 20 year old last year. And um, even though I'm a, I'm a lot younger than he was. Uh, I hope I can be uh, a wall in, in the back there for this team this year. Goaltending is such a mental game, Justin. And I know that in, there are certain games this season where you were really peppered with shots early on. And uh, that could be a recipe for disaster for a lot of 17, 16 year old goaltenders, those high school goaltenders. You really kept it calm uh, in a lot of stressful moments. What is what sort of trait do you have to thank? Is there a certain family member you got that from? Tell us about how you're just so calm, cool, and collected between the pipes. Um, you know, growing up, I think that was always my biggest strength, more than anything physical or my reaction or or any of the the technical goaltending stuff. I thought that was just staying calm under pressure was uh, one of my, or if if not my biggest strength. Um, and I I just think my parents always taught me from a young age not to let anything bother you and. And having two older sisters that bug me all the time, uh, trying not to let it get to me, uh, really helped. And, and I think that uh, it's something I really focus on is my mental game, just staying strong, believing in myself. And no matter what happens, I know um, I'm the best player on the ice uh, if, I, if I can play at my best. So that's the mentality I go with. Well, there's a guy responsible for you playing at your best, and uh, his name is Chad Carter, the goaltending coach at the West Kelowna Warriors. And, you know, if you don't know Chad Carter, and I'm going to – this is non-bias as well uh, coming from me. I, I have to say he's probably one of the most reputable goaltending coaches in the BCHL. Uh, he just had a goaltender camp uh, about a month ago, and there was about 40 or 50 goaltenders packed inside Jim Lindrink. Goalies who came from the island, Greater Vancouver, Alberta, Saskatchewan, just to see Chad Carter and, and get coached by Chad Carter. You had the luxury of having him as a goaltending coach all year last year, all year coming up this year. Talk to me about Chad and the effect that he's had on your development. Yeah, well, when I signed in, in West Kelowna last, last year, uh, they told me that, that we had a great goalie coach and that Chad was, was a great guy, a reputable guy. And I had no idea of being growing up in Quebec. Uh, um, but when I got there right away, he, he was working with me off the bat, uh, helping me out, uh, doing video, talking to me and Johnny. And, uh, and, you know, he's, he's a big reason for my success. I didn't have a goalie coach when I was in, in high school in the States um, that was out there with us every day. So just having a guy, every shot that goes in, every save, there's always something that you can do better with. Uh, and Chad really, really helped me uh, figure those little details out throughout the year. Why don't we uh, chat about uh, something personal for you? Uh, you're one of the very few BCHL players. I think you're only about one of three or one of two players in the entire league uh, that deals with uh, the battles diabetes and you deal with having diabetes. Um, talk to me about which type of diabetes you have once you educate the fans on how it affects you and how does that affect your day to day? Yeah, so I have uh, type one or juvenile diabetes. Uh, I've had it since I was, I think, seven years old or seven and a half years old, something around there. 
Um, so I've gotten used to it. Uh, I've been playing hockey since a young age with it. Um, I had it, I was playing hockey. So uh, I've learned to deal with it. I have an insulin pump which I actually have right here. Um, so that this just constantly gives me insulin throughout the day, which, which lowers your blood sugar. Um, and on the ice, I just have to keep some, some sort of sugar with me, some Welch's or candies or Gatorade. Um, and I actually, I go through, through quite a bit of those during the season, just with how intense our, our training is, but, um, you know, I've learned to deal with it. My parents helped me when I was young and then I, uh, I became a little more independent with it. And, uh, last year was a little tough with the time difference, just getting the, the levels and the insulin and it's, it's complicated, but, uh, but uh, I managed and I didn't have a problem with it. And as long as it doesn't affect me during games, uh, it's good. And Mike, Mikey, Mike Bois does a really good job uh, with helping me out with that. So uh, yeah, it's good. We can't, we got to give the athletic therapist some credit too. I mean, Mike Bois is going to help you out with your diet. Uh, yeah. And it, it, there's a great opportunity for Welch's fruit snacks to sponsor the West Kelowna Warriors. <laughs> now is the time you got a poster child, Justin yeah. Katz. Welch's can save your life. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely oh, no. can. <laughs> um, I need, I need you to also kind of paint a picture for a newcomer uh, joining the Warriors. He's going to uh, slot into more than likely the top six, committed to RIT, uh, a good longtime friend of yours, Chris Duclair, the younger brother of Florida Panthers forward, Anthony Duclair. He's going to be joining the Warriors this year. You and Alexi Van Hukachero uh, and Charles Alexis, ago, you guys train with him uh, in the offseason. Talk to me about Chris. What's he going to bring to the Warriors? Yeah, I've known Chris for a while. I train at the same gym with him uh, and I've been on the ice a couple of times within the summer and, and in the past. And I think uh, Alexi played on and Charles actually both played on a team with him one year. Um, and he's just he's a great guy. First of all, a great locker room guy, uh, works hard, competes every practice, every game. Uh, and he's just a small ish. He's small ish height wise, uh, big guy uh, weight wise. And he's he's strong one of the strongest guys I've ever seen and uh, speed skill is are the two words I would use to describe him he's a stocky speedy scorer yeah that's a, that's yeah. that's the uh, that's the analysis that yeah. we're getting from yeah. Justin Katz right now there you go you put it into better words than I did <laughs> well uh, Justin I mean uh, one other thing we got to talk about too is uh, you know who's gonna be backing you up this year the Warriors did acquire Caden Hamming uh, he is still um, you know recovering from uh, from an injury uh, uh, last spring so uh, you know you're gonna be the guy more than likely in the first couple of weeks uh, weekends of the regular season are you ready for this? You're now the number one guy. Not only that, but you're going to be getting a lot of back-to-back -back starts uh, to start the year. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready and I'm excited. Uh, last year, I, I played a decent amount of games for a young guy, but uh, I'm looking forward into stepping into that bigger role this year and playing even more games. And, and if whatever Coach Ferguson, Coach Nickel, and Georges think, uh, think is the right thing to do, if I have to play back-to-back -back, uh, two weekends in a row, I'm fine with it and I'm more than ready. Thanks for this, Justin, and we look forward to seeing you. I mean, by the time that this interview airs, your plane is going to be landing in Kelowna and training camp starts end of this week. Yeah, I can't wait to get there. Justin Katz joining me here on this special episode of Warriors Wednesday. You'll be, we'll be joined again next week live. All the players will be here. Training camp begins this week. Just a reminder, season tickets are on sale. You can uh, purchase them on the Warriors website. They can also be purchased in a flex pack. For more information, you can call yours truly at 604-217-3506.